Okay. I'm making this video really quick. If you've seen the video from yesterday, which was the 24th, um, actually today is the 26th, and it's 2.30 a.m. Um, the last video, I don't know if that was yesterday or the day before at this point, um, I was crying. I was beaten. So, today, Monday, today's Tuesday, but Monday, I decided to go to the doctor's. That's a story in itself, a whole nother story, because that lady was talking about a referral to a GYN and all this shit. Like, ma'am, I'm telling you, I can't breathe. <laughs> Why are you talking about a GYN? Like, lungs is not down there. But, I just walked out of there and went to the emergency room. I went to Baptist Homestead ER. They ran some tests. They confirmed that there is still um, fluid around the lungs. And it's less than it was previously. Um, but nevertheless, I think that's how you say it. There is still fluid. So that could possibly be um, why I can't breathe and why I'm short of breath. Um, they tried to send me back to UM. And I'm freezing. That's why the camera um moving because I'm, I'm cold, like ice cold. I don't know what these kids, they be thinking it's the North Pole when I'm not here. Um, but I, I signed a paper that I'm leaving against medical advice with the intent to go to Baptist Kendall. Baptist Kendall has cardiothoracic surgeon. Baptist Kendall, um, my nephrologist has, you know, What's it called? Rights? Um, not rights. Like, he he worked with Baptist. So, he'll be able to care for me if that's what it is. If it's my kidneys, he'll be able to care for me. I don't want to go back to you, um, um, for this. Now, if it was just something with my heart, that's different. But the lungs, the liquid on the lungs, that's either from surgery which is natural and you need to burn off or from surgery and the kidneys not being where they're supposed to be so it's not burning off it's not like being released um my intent actually is to call my nephrologist tomorrow and see what he recommends or what advice he gives because I don't want to go to Baptist Kendall and then they tell me the same thing. Um, I will say this. I got up them stairs a lot faster just now than I've been getting up there. I don't know if it's because y'all y'all been putting it in my head like trick or treat said, ain't it don't we gotta push forward. But I did make it up the stairs a lot faster today than I did in the past. Now, remember I just said it was like 2.30 a.m.? I ain't been asleep since I cried on that last video. And that's something like 24 hours. I would love to go to sleep. I would love to go to sleep and get some peaceful rest. Just don't know how. Just don't know if it's possible. That's really the main reason I went is because I have not been able to sleep in that alone has been taking this toll on me so knowing that it is still fluid in the lungs or around the lungs helps me to understand why i'm still having these feelings 
Um, they did give me a round of antibiotics, which I appreciate. Um, but I still may need to go back to the hospital. We got to see if I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> like, literally at this point, it's coming down to if I can sleep or not. Because how can I get well if I never get a break? Um, football players, basketball players, everybody got half time. I don't even get nap time. And I need it. Once again, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for following along. I'm sorry about all that crying I was doing yesterday. But it's a lot. Thank y'all for y'all continuous prayers and encouragement as well. Thank you very much. I love y'all. Don't you forget it now. <laughs>